Hi guys, how are you? Uh, I hope you're doing well. Well, today we're drawing uh, the views of a solid. What is a solid? Solid is a three dimension picture of a figure. For example, maybe you can think this is a cube. Well, what's the name of this cube? This is the dice, all right? Well, the objective uh, of the video is how to uh, get the views, the different views, the three, the three main views of a solid. Well, and the three main views of a solid is, are, sorry, top, front, and left, side. Well, let's take... Alright, let's take this picture drawn in the screen, as you can see. This is the number one, this is the number two, this is the number three All my uh, dice. Well, first of all, uh, we have to take into account where is the arrow, okay? What is an arrow? An arrow is flecha in Spanish. An arrow is that, okay? The arrow typically show us where is the front all right if my arrow is here this is the front view and in consequence this will be the top and of course this will be the left side so let's draw uh, now we have to begin from the top the top is like is uh, as if you were a fly, a little fly. Okay? This is a fly. And this is the view you have when you are flying over the dice. Well, this is the top because you are looking at the dice from the top. Alright? Okay. Let's put the holes. This is number two. Okay, where is the front? The front is as if you were here, looking at the dice from this point of view. And then we will draw the front. The front with the number three in its surface. All right, all right. It's very important to put First of all, the top here above, and then the front, and now at the right side, the left side. Wow, the left side, what is the left side if this is the front? Okay, the left side is from this point of view. Let's imagine you are here and you are looking at the surface of the dice. Well, with the number one. You have always to draw the top, the front, and the left side in this position. Okay? This is the only way to draw it. Uh, it's not right if you decide to put here, for example, the front and put here the uh, left side. This is not right. Okay? This is awful. Okay, right? Well, let's make another example. Let's imagine you have a very simple chair. You know, a chair is an object where you can sit on. Right. We need the... Oof. We need the eraser. All right. That's fantastic, my eraser. Okay. 
let's continue drawing carry on this is my very simple chair and this is the front because there is an arrow all right well if this is my front when you draw the front you will see only this surface but this is will be this will be the top and you have to fly okay to see from this point of view the top this is the top this surface is the top and this is what you have to draw look at the bottom let's start drawing This square, this rectangle more or less, is the surface. Okay? This is the top. And this surface is here. Right? Later, you will draw the front view. The front view is as if you were here. Alright? Looking at this surface. Right? Let's draw it. And what you can see? This one. Okay, okay. On the left side, you have to move here. And you have to look this part of the picture, this part of the solid. And you will see this surface and this surface. Not this and these ones. Okay? And not these ones. I like to draw auxiliary lines because they help me to, to make better, all right? Well, this is the left side. The left side will be this way, more or less. Okay, and that's it. That's the way to draw the different views of this solid. Well, otherwise it's not right. Well, I have to say that uh, you, you can't, okay? You can't draw this, uh, for instance, this view in this place. It's not right, okay? This is uh, badly. No, no, it's, it's, it's not right. It's not well done. You have to use these positions. Top, front, and left side. All right? But one thing. Uh, you don't have to put here the name of the top, the front, and the left side because everybody will draw the top at the bottom and later the front and the left side at the right corner. Okay? Okay, it's very easy. So, the last thing is pay attention. To the activities of the blog, okay? Because I will upload uh, a very easy activity for you uh, in order to uh, get the the different views of different solids. Well, I hope you enjoy the the video tutorial and goodbye.